In today's video, we are going to see Oswald's dilution law. Now, what is Oswald's dilution law? To understand that, let us see what is the derivation for this. So, what actually Oswald's dilution law is, it gives you the relation between the dissociation constant of the acid or the dissociation constant of the base and degree of dissociation. Now, when we say that it gives the relation for K and KB or KB with alpha, you have to consider always a weak acid and a weak base so that you can trace the reaction mechanism or the mode easily. So, in this particular part, first part, I'll be taking the relation between dissociation constant of a weak acid and degree of dissociation. So, let us start for the derivation. As I said here that I'll be considering a weak acid. So let us consider a weak acid that is HA. I'll consider one mole of HA and I will dissolve this in VDM cube of the solvent. To know the degree of dissociation extent, I have to dissolve that in water. And if Alpha is the degree of dissociation. Then, how this will dissociate, student? So, it will dissociate HA. I am dissolving this in water. So, I am using aqueous. As I said, this is a weak electrolyte. So, I will use this sign. It will give me H plus aqueous and A minus aqueous. Now, applying... Law of mass action, as this is an acid, I will be using Ka is equal to the product of active masses of the product to the active masses of the reactant. So, like that, I will have active mass of H plus ion and active mass of A minus upon active mass of the acid. I will mark this equation 1. Now, let us take the reaction again. So, I will take the reaction or write the reaction again. So, HA aqueous will give me H plus aqueous and A minus aqueous. Now, students, how many moles I have considered initially is 1 mole. So, when I add this 1 mole of HA in water, at that time, no dissociation will take place. So, initial number of moles, I'll write on this side, initial number of moles. As soon as I add this, there won't be any dissociation. But as the time passes, the dissociation process will continue. So, let us consider the number of moles at equilibrium means the reaction is allowed to proceed up to the equilibrium point. As I said, alpha is the degree of dissociation. Then this is alpha, this is alpha, then this will be 1 minus alpha. Now, let us consider the molar concentration at equilibrium. What is the meaning of molar concentration, students? It is N by V. So, how much volume we have taken is VDM cube. So, this will become 1 minus alpha. That is the number of moles of the acid at equilibrium divided by volume V. Then this will become alpha by V and alpha by V. I will mark this equation as equation number 2. Now, substituting the values of the active mass concentrations here from equation 2 in equation 1. So, substituting the values of the active masses from equation 2 in equation 1. Now, what you will get is Ka is equal to. Now, in place of H plus, I will be using this. So, I will be using this active mass as it is. So, it will be alpha V, alpha V upon 1 minus alpha upon V. Now, let us continue this. Ka is equal to, this will become alpha square V square. So, it will be alpha square V square upon 1 minus alpha upon V. So, let us continue solving this. 
So let us continue. So I will get K A is equal to. Now this V square and this V will get cancelled. And what you will get is alpha square upon 1 minus alpha V. So let us see what you will have here student. One very very important concept what you must know that as the concentration will go on increasing what will happen to volume? Volume should decrease means there is a inverse relation means concentration is equal to 1 by V. So taking this into consideration if I see the equation here I have 1 by V. So I can have Ka is equal to alpha square upon 1 minus alpha and in place of this 1 upon v I can use c here. So what I got is Ka is equal to alpha square c as HA is a very very weak acid it will dissociate to a lesser extent. And when it will dissociate to a lesser extent, more amount of HA will remain as it is in the solution. And therefore, 1 minus alpha will nearly be equal to 1. Substituting that, Ka is equal to alpha square C. This is the third equation what is usually used for the calculations. Now let us continue this. Alpha square, I am just rearranging the equation is equal to Ka upon C. If I remove this square, I will get alpha is equal to square root of Ka by C. Right students? Now, this is a constant. If I remove or take out this constant, this is equal to sign will become a proportionality sign. So alpha and I will use this as proportionality sign a 1 upon C. So this is what I got the equation. Now if I see the equation further, can I replace this 1 upon C by V here because there is an inverse relation. So I will mark this as equation 4 and alpha I will put this in this way here, in this way. Now this is equation 5. Now based on this and this equation, now I will tell you what is Oswald's dilution law. According to Oswald's dilution law, what is alpha students? This is degree of dissociation. So degree of dissociation as this is 1 upon C, I will call this as an inverse relation. As this is only V here, I will call this as a direct relation. So degree of dissociation for a weak acid or a weak electrolyte is inversely proportional to the square root of its concentration or is directly proportional to square root of its volume or dilution. So let us write what is Oswald's dilution law. So according to Oswald's dilution law, the degree of dissociation is directly proportional. Be careful what term you are you writing here. So this is directly, so I'll go for equation 5 now. The degree of dissociation is directly proportional to square root of its volume or dilution. The other word for volume is dilution or is inversely proportional to square root of its concentration for a weak electrolyte. Now let us see the same Oswald's dilution law for a weak base. So let us see for the base now. So I will be seeing the relation between Kb and alpha. For this I have to consider 1 mole of weak base. Here ba weak base what I am taking is BOH. How many moles? 1 mole and I am dissolving this in VDM cube of the solvent and let alpha be the degree of dissociation. Students you can do this simultaneously for the practice. So let us consider BOH. How I will put that? Aqueous reversibility sign because it is a weak base and it will give me B plus aqueous and OH minus aqueous. 
as it is a base, now I will take Kb is equal to B plus OH minus upon BOH. Give this equation 1. Now I will write the equation again. So it will be BOH aqueous reversibility sign B plus aqueous and OH minus aqueous. What I'll write here, initial number of moles, initial number of moles, as soon as I add this, this will be 1, now ions will get formed. As the reaction proceeds, I'll wait till the equilibrium, so number of moles at equilibrium, if alpha is the degree of dissociation here, this will be 1 minus alpha. Let us go for molar concentration now. Molar concentration is N by V at equilibrium. So it will be 1 minus alpha by V, alpha by V and alpha by V. Give this equation number 2. Next, substituting the values from equation 2 in equation 1. So what you will get after substitution? Kb is equal to Kb is equal to active mass alpha by V alpha by V upon 1 minus alpha by V. Let us solve this. Kb is equal to alpha square upon V square 1 minus alpha by V. Now let us solve this. So let us calculate this, what you will get? Kb is equal to, if I sort out this, so what I will get? Alpha square upon 1 minus alpha v. You know that 1 upon v is c. So Kb is equal to alpha square 1 minus alpha c. Now students, you know that BOH is a weak electrolyte or it is a weak base so it will dissociate to a very very lesser extent and therefore 1 minus alpha will nearly remain 1. So what I will get Kb is equal to alpha square C. Let us rearrange the equation is equal to Kb upon C. So alpha is equal to square root of Kb by C. So alpha is equal to now I don't want this is equal to so I will remove this. So what I will get upon 1 upon C or I will use here alpha is directly proportional to square root of its volume or dilution. So what is Oswald's dilution law for a weak base now student? It says that degree of dissociation is, now let us take this, is inversely proportional to square root of its concentration or is directly proportional to square root of its volume or dilution. Both the terms they are same student volume and dilution for one mole of a weak base. You can use the word weak electrolyte here. So this is what is Oswald's dilution law. In short, what is uh, Oswald's dilution law is that it gives a relation between the dissociation constant of acid or base and its degree of dissociation. So what is degree of dissociation or how it is related to concentration and volume student? That there is a direct relation between the square root of its volume and inverse relation between square root of its concentration. Thank you students.